Hey everybody, this is graphic designer Roberto Blake, and in today's video, I'm going to be reviewing Adobe InDesign CC 2014 and comparing it to Adobe InDesign CS6. And we're going to close out the year with me reviewing all of the Adobe apps and all the other software that I'm using. So let's talk about Adobe InDesign 2014. I'm very satisfied with the overall updates to Creative Cloud. I love the new Creative Cloud Marketplace. I love the new Creative Cloud libraries that we get, especially for InDesign, because it's gonna make managing uh, you know, brand campaigns for me as a designer a lot more streamlined. It's gonna make keeping organized and keeping color palettes together for specific clients and brands and my own stuff just really simple. So I'm really happy about that. I'm happy about the new assets they've added to Creative Cloud Market, the new fonts add to type kit. So we've got a lot going on there in terms of value in CC 2014. The other thing is we get a 64-bit version of Adobe InDesign, Illustrator, and Photoshop completely natively. So now we have software that is utilizing the full capacity of our hardware. If you're still on InDesign CS6, I know it's probably still meeting the majority of your needs as a print designer, but you also aren't taking advantage of all of your hardware because you're still working in a 32-bit environment instead of a 64-bit environment. So you can't use all the RAM, you may not be able to use all the processing threads, so no matter how much you upgrade the hardware, you might not get any more performance out of InDesign if you're on the old version. So that's just one more benefit of going to Creative Cloud. One of the other benefits of going to Creative Cloud is the new EPUB features in Adobe InDesign CC 2014. EPUB is gonna be a growing industry going forward from here on out. Uh, it's really shaking things up digitally. And the new uh, EPUB 3.0 format is allowing multimedia content, and that's huge. So people are really leveraging and taking advantage of that. I imagine that Gary Vaynerchuk, when he releases the Ask Gary V book, um, is probably gonna leverage that because he has the Ask Gary V show on YouTube, and it would only make sense that he includes some um, general and some special edition uh, exclusive content directly in the EPUB to encourage people to buy that in addition to the print book. Uh, so, I mean, those kind of opportunities make sense in terms of, well, if I have the hard copy, why would I want the digital e-publication? It's because you can add value for yourself if you're a creator or for your clients by being able to offer the EPUB 3 format with multimedia content. So that means, you know, um, specialty lectures, audio playback, um, links, obviously, images, and video playback. So that's huge. More traditional magazines are also um, leveraging the EPUB format to have digital versions that are available to iPad and Kindle. And you know they're working out um, subscriptions through that as well, in addition to the physical print publications. So being able to offer that capability is going to expand your career range as a designer. Um, so that's another advantage of InDesign CC 2014 versus CS6. So overall, my experience with Adobe InDesign um, CC 2014 versus coming from uh, CS6 a while back um, and using other versions of it, I've been using it for you know forever. The point is, I feel like it's the most robust, comprehensive version of the software. It has the most features, obviously. It has the most versatility. And if you're not, all right, if you're looking to just stick with what you've been doing, you're going to be doing it um, at the you know top capacity of a 32-bit application instead of being able to take advantage of all your hardware. So from now on, you can buy a new MacBook Pro, you can buy a new uh, Mac Pro, you can buy any computer you want to your heart's content, and if you're sticking with CS6, you have a ceiling. You're never gonna get any more performance or improvement no matter what you do, at least not comparatively. Now, if you go to CC 2014, then you'll actually see huge leaps and gains in terms of performance and taking advantage of that. So even if you're just doing your regular day-to-day -day thing that hasn't changed in 5, 10, 20 years, whatever it is, there's still a benefit to be had in terms of saving time through performance. If you're looking to expand and grow your career and go into the digital space as far as EPUB and other things, um, interactive PDFs, what have you, then obviously there's tremendous benefit to going to CC 2014 instead of sticking with CS6. So that's why I want to put on the table there. So again, these are my opinions. Some of you may disagree. I'd love to know what you guys think in the comment section below, or if you have questions, feel free to do that there as well. You can also tweet at me, at Roberto Blake, to get a response from me probably in real time. Uh, try and use the hashtag createawesome and also hashtag InDesign so that I know what we're talking about and so that I definitely see it. Anyway, like this video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out the other awesome content on the channel. Stay tuned for the rest of my 2014 reviews closing out the year. As always, you guys, thanks so very much for watching, tuning in with me, and don't forget, create something awesome today.